y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different than the ones I've done before. Today, I'm just going to sit down with you guys and do my makeup and just talk about everything and talk about life. And I'm going to talk about how I got my lash extensions and what my experience is like. And I'm also using a few different products today. I'm trying a few different things out. And I'm also using the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is a staple and which is iconic. So if you want to see the look that I created today and just learn a few new things and just hang out with me, then just keep watching. Okay, so a lot of you have been wanting to hear about my experience with lash extensions and where I went and just all of the details. So today what I'm going to do is y'all are just going to get ready with me and watch me do my makeup and I'm just going to sit down and get ready and it's not really a tutorial. I'm just going to talk and explain about my lash extensions and all the questions that I've been getting and everything and I'm just going to chill and do my makeup. So, One of the biggest questions that I've been getting since I got lash extensions is how much did they cost? Well the place that I went it was $75 for a full set but you get lash extensions done like how you get your nails done. Like when you get lash extensions, you're going to have to f have a fill in three or so weeks, three, three to four weeks. So a fill where I went is $40 at three weeks, $50 at four weeks, and so on. And then if you wait five or six weeks, I don't remember however the math works out. If you wait five or six weeks, it will be the full 75 again. So, um... Yeah, it was $75 for a full set, which is not bad at all. That's that's a really good price. But I got um, the style that I got and what I asked for. This is another question that I've been getting. is like, what do you ask for? And like, do you just go in and tell them you want lash extensions and your lash tech will know? Or do you, what's, what's the, what do you ask for? So I went in and I didn't know much about lash extensions. All I had done was I had just looked at a few pictures on Instagram and on the internet and everything and like I've had friends that have had lash extensions so since this is my first time getting lash extensions I wanted to get them pretty natural but I wanted everyone like I wanted people to notice that I had lash extensions and I wanted to be able to wake up and not wear makeup and not have the lash extensions looking too dramatic but I also wanted to be able to wear makeup and not look like, oh, she has just, just has longer lashes. Like, I didn't, I wanted to be in the middle of, like, the drama, I guess, if that makes sense. So, I told the girl, the lash tech that did my lashes, I was like, okay, so I want them longer on the outer corner, so, like, winged out, and... Uh, shorter on the inner corner and I don't want them too thick I want them to look pretty natural but I want people to notice that I have lash extensions and I think that she did a perfect job especially for my first time I feel like they're pretty natural so I recommend if you're going to get lash extensions or if you're planning on it or you're looking into it I recommend doing your research and just going on Google and being like lash extensions or I went on Instagram and I searched on hashtags and I just put lash extensions and um, a bunch of pictures came up of all different types of people with different lash extensions on. There were some that were super dramatic and some that were more natural and some that were very, very natural and then some kind of in the middle and I was like, that's kind of what I want. I wanted some just kind of in the middle but I knew that I wanted my lash extensions to be kind of longer on the outer corners because I just feel like that's flattering, that's more flattering, like kind of winged out I guess. And so that's what I asked for and I also it'd be helpful to just show a picture. I've showed a picture to my lash tech and she knew what I wanted so that could be helpful. But no it does not hurt, it's just kind of, it's just a weird feeling like also it's kind of, it doesn't hurt to get the lash extensions on but it's definitely ticklish almost like it feel like you can feel her doing it another question that I had and I know other girls have when they get lash extensions is can you wear makeup and if so how do you take it off so yes you can wear makeup obviously I'm doing my makeup now and yes you can wear eyeshadow yes you can wear eyeliner and yes you can wear mascara I don't wear mascara and if I do it's only a tiny tiny bit on my lash extensions 
and you just have to take extra time because just like your normal lashes they can get tangled and they can and that can make them come off so when you wear makeup and you want to take off your makeup so what I do is I take makeup wipes and these are from TJ Maxx they're only like seven dollars and these smell like rose water and they just I love them they're great I got these after I got lash extensions because I have client a client kit and I have to keep makeup wipes in there so I'm just always running out of makeup wipes anyway so I got makeup wipes and you want to take your makeup wipe and take off all your makeup except for on your eyes so what you want to do to take off your makeup is take your makeup wipe and take off all the makeup outside of this area so leave your eyes with makeup on and also any way that you take off your makeup like if you're taking it off with a micellar water or just makeup remover or a makeup removing oil don't use oil make sure that everything is oil free because if you get oil on your eyelashes it can make the bond separate the bond of the eyelash glue and it will take off your lashes also don't use it on your face because use it on your face you wash your face with water the water and the oil runs down onto your eyes and that can do the same effect so make sure that everything that you're taking your makeup off with is oil free which is not which is not hard to find my cellar water Garnier my cellar water is oil free and that's what I use to take off my eye makeup but you can take you take a cotton pad and take off the majority of it but if you have eyeliner on your lash line or any makeup really close to your lashes just take a q-tip and soak it with the makeup remover and take it close to your lash line and remove it like that and be careful not to rub on your eyelashes what you do not want to do is rub your eyes you can wear mascara but I would just do a little amount because it's kind of hard to remove so you don't want to use a lot and you don't really need a lot they're already black they're already dark and long you just you don't really need it unless you feel like oh you're wearing a lot of makeup and you feel like you know how you look whenever you have on eyeshadow but no mascara that's how I kind of feel like I look sometimes whenever I do a more dramatic makeup look without putting on mascara on my lash extensions so if you feel like you need it yes you can use it but the way to take it off is they will give you most likely they will give you and if they don't you can buy these at Sally's or Walmart or anything but they'll give you a, um, a spoolie so what I do is I just take makeup remover on the spoolie and I just brush and brush and brush and then I will wipe it on a towel and once it comes clean then I know the mascara is off it's not that hard it just takes time Another thing I want to point out is if and when one of your lashes comes out, don't be alarmed by that and don't be like, oh no, my, like if it's the next day. Actually, when I got home from getting lash extensions, one of mine came out and I was like, oh gosh, you know, I paid money for this and I was like, they're not going to last long. I just felt like, oh no, like they're going to fall out in a few days, but I've only had one more to fall out since I got them, which is really good. And it was it was because a natural lash fell out. And it's normal for your lashes to fall out. I mean, think of all the times that you've had an eyelash in your eye or an eyelash on your face or you've just seen one fall out. Like, your lashes go through a natural cycle of, like, growing new ones. Like, they'll fall out and grow new ones. It's all the time. So when that happens that's normal it's not because your eyelash extensions are messed up or they're not on good or whatever but it's connected to your natural lash so whenever it falls out the lash extensions will come with it right, so. I suggest going through a time where you don't have eyelash extensions so get your eyelash extensions and then go through a fill or however long and if you just feel like you want a break from them because they can't, kind of can get annoying you can't really feel them but you can't rub your eyes and like you have to be careful when you scratch your eye and just everything you'll see what I mean if and when you get them but I suggest you know taking a break every now and then like oh, I'm gonna take a week break and just let your eyelashes breathe and also another question that I've gotten is do they harm your natural lashes no, they do not harm your natural lashes. They're, it's just fine. Another thing is every morning when you wake up or after, especially after you wash your face or take a shower, anytime that your lashes get wet, take your spoolie and brush through them because any way, the way that they are 
facing when they're wet is the way that they're going to dry and they're going to stay like that. So if you have one that whenever you get done taking a shower that's going the opposite way, brush through them and make sure that it's going the right way that you want and just detangle them and they'll dry normal. This is off topic of the lash extension topic, but um, a few people have recommended that I do a makeup collection tour. Is that what it's called? Yeah, a makeup collection tour, whatever. Um, so if you would like to see that, I can do that for you guys and I would love to. I, would love to sh I don't have much. I don't have the most beautiful, you know, makeup collection and beauty guru beauty collection, but I've accumulated a good bit of makeup and I've, I feel pretty happy with my setup. So if you would like to see that, then just let me know. Comment down below or message me. Today on my brows, I'm going to use a different um, brow gel than I normally use. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, and I've used it a couple times. It's just so much different than my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and I don't know if I like it yet. The wand is definitely different, and this clear brow gel is more liquidy and, I don't know, stickier than the Anastasia one, but when it dries down, it looks really good and it really holds. And also this brush, it's kind of hard to work with the brush, but I feel like it really separates my brow hairs and makes it look natural. Okay, so the brows are done and now I'm going to do eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys follow Trend Mood or Urban Decay on Instagram, but Urban Decay just announced that the original Naked palette is discontinued after 8 years. And this was the first palette that I ever got the first eyeshadow palette that I ever got and like the naked palettes were the first thing to like get me into makeup and I have all of the naked palettes and I was looking through my collection and I was like why don't I use the naked palette because I'm mourning the loss I'm gonna use a Morphe M504 first and I'm gonna take naked and book I'll just like walk you through what the experience is like so when you call to make an appointment if you have anything else to do that day, just know that it's going to take about an hour or more to do the eyelash extensions. I think it really depends on what you get. If you get more dramatic lashes, it's going to take longer and I guess it's depending on where you go. So I don't really want to say the place that I went just because I know that the only people that watch my videos are not only people from around here or around where I live. So, if you want to know where I got mine done, then just message me and I'll tell you. I don't mind telling you, I just don't want to put it out on the internet. So, whenever I went, I, she was like, okay, so what do you want today? Like, what style do you think you want? And I showed her a picture, that's helpful. I showed her a picture and I was like, I think that I want them more natural, but I want people to notice that I have them. But I want them a little winged out on the edge. She was like, okay, I got you, girl. We went back into the room or whatever and you just lay down on the bed. So I don't know if you've seen those shadow shields that you can put under your eyes to catch any fallout and to like sharpen up the outer edge of your eyeshadow but she uses one of those. It's kind of like a sticker and it goes under your eyes and she says look up and you she tapes your bottom eyelashes down and just to get those out of the way. She's like okay keep your eyes closed from now on so she brushes out your lashes and you know you this whole time that you get your eyelashes done you can ask questions and I advise you to ask questions yeah if you have any more questions about eyelash extensions then just let me know and I would not mind to answer that for you guys but I'm so in love with them like it makes getting ready in the morning so much easier and it just makes everything so much easier and I when I wake up, I already feel like I'm pretty. Like, I'm like, oh, I have lashes. Like, before, my lashes were itty-bitty and blonde. And now, I automatically have lashes when I wake up, so it's great. Also, when you're doing your makeup, I suggest taking your spoolie. And you can just brush through your lashes. But what I like to do is take a little bit of makeup remover on my spoolie that they gave me. And brush over my lashes. And that will just take off any makeup that fell down and it will make your lashes look darker without having to put on mascara. This look that I'm doing today is just like an everyday neutral makeup look but if you guys would like a tutorial on this, like an in-depth in tutorial on what I did and what colors I used and everything, 
then let me know and I will film that. But this look is not hard to achieve. I'm pretty much just going with it and seeing what I can come up with. The thing about the Naked palette, the Urban Decay Naked palette, the first one that I'm using today, that I didn't really like notice or care about when I got it when I was 12 or 13, whenever, I don't know, 13, 14, I was pretty young. One thing about it is there's literally only two mattes. There's two mattes in the palette. So there's not a deeper matte to like deepen up your crease. It's literally just these two transition shades. So, but hey, I guess that was in back then. I don't really know. And I never, I never put shimmer eyeshadows in my crease. But this is actually really pretty. And I feel like this is effortless. What I did is I took Naked and Buck as a transition in my crease. And then I mixed Smog and Toasted and put it on my outer crease and then I took toasted and hustle and put it on my lash line and did the same to the bottom. Now I'm taking a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to take the color Virgin which is this light shimmery shade and put it on my inner corner and brow bone. I'm going to take the same brush, the Morphe E36 brush. This is the chill makeup setting spray. This is just what I have right here. And I'm going to take a little bit of sin on my brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my eyelid just on the very center and then connecting into the inner corner just for a little bit more shimmer. Another key to eyelash extensions is making sure that you take care of them. So in the morning whenever you're doing your makeup or taking off your makeup make sure that you're taking extra time to brush through your lashes and make sure that you're taking care of them because that will make your lashes last the longest. And also another thing is don't take a makeup wipe. You can use a makeup wipe to remove all, this one's really dirty, I just used this, but you can take a makeup wipe to remove all the other makeup, but don't take it to your eyes and rub because your lash extensions will come off and it will probably hurt. But I think that I covered everything else. If you have any more questions, then comment down below and I will mention them in another video and I will answer that question for you. And I hope that that helped you guys out today. See, these lipsticks just came in one of these packs, and you have to take a lip brush and apply it like that. But um, it has the shade names on here. I don't really know which one I'm going to use. These are the, I think they're new. These are the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. So they're just like regular lipsticks, like you can see on here. They're not liquid lipsticks or anything. It says, Swipe On, Strike Bold. Single stroke lipsticks, so seductive in touch and texture. The sensation is audacious in 30 unstoppable shades. So I have Apolline, Grace, Anna, Annabella, Raquel, Rita, Deborah, and Betty. So I think that I'm going to go in with the first one, Apolline, which is right here. I love these little testers because. NARS is pretty expensive and a lot of other brands are, so these testers are helpful because if I don't like it, then I didn't just buy a full product to try it, like, it's just a one-time thing. Ugh. It's literally like a little melted, like they just chopped off the lipstick and it's like a melted into the pan. So I'm just going to apply this and I'll be right back. Okay, so update on that lipstick. I really, really liked the formula of that. This color is not too vibrant, but it's not just a nude. It's, I feel like it's really flattering, and I feel like it will go with a lot of looks. And this is really comfortable. I'll probably buy one of these in full size. I don't really know which shade is my favorite yet. I'm going to have to use all of them and test them all out. But, yeah, so there's a little review for you guys. Just to finish off this makeup, I'm just going to set my face with a little of chill urban decay chill makeup setting spray that's it you guys i hope you liked this video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe also if you want to see a full tutorial on the look that i did today using the urban decay naked palette then just comment down below and i'll film that for you guys i hope that you liked today's video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye